For those of you out there that are not free software zealots that aren't out there just really championing the fight for digital rights, digital privacy, sometimes I think those folks, the more pragmatic crowd, often ask why the zealots, those of us that are a little more fervent in our beliefs in this stuff, why we are so passionate about this. It's because every day our world becomes more and more like the George Orwell novel 1984. Take a look at this story here from the UK. It's actually a Twitter post, but this guy posted this picture of a poster. Now, this poster says, What is on a child's computer? The Tor browser can be used to access the dark web. Virtual machines can hide operating systems not normally found on your computer, like Kali Linux. Kali Linux is an operating system often used for hacking. Wi-Fi Pineapple is a bit of kit that can be used to capture sensitive data over the internet. Discord is a popular communication platform used to share hacking tips. I had to laugh at that one. And then Metasploit is a penetration software that makes hacking simple. So if you see any of these on your kid's computer, you have a child you think is hacking, let us know so we can give advice and engage them in positive diversions. And this is the West Midlands Police Department in the UK. So I apologize for laughing, but this poster is so ridiculous because the Tor browser is used for legitimate reasons. It's, it's a web browser. Yes, it provides anonymity. When you're using it, nobody can track you. There are legitimate reasons why some people have to use the Tor browser. Virtual machines. I have installed thousands of virtual machines in my lifetime. I probably have a dozen or more virtual machines installed on my computer right now. None of those virtual machines have I ever done anything nefarious on. Um, <laughs> that's strange. Uh, Kali Linux is an operating system used for hacking. Yes, it's a penetration testing distro yes it's used for hacking but that it's used for ethical hacking for the most part that's what people use it for many of these people use Kali Linux and those tools in Kali Linux like Metasploit because it's part of their job to penetration test you know their workplace the systems at their work and I don't even know why discord is on this list discord is a chat platform basically for gamers to chat, video chat sometimes, while they play in-game like in Steam. This is ridiculous that they even put Discord on this poster. And the fact that they are asking parents to report their child if they see them using any of this stuff, this scares the hell out of me. It really is part of that old joke, the old meme that <laughs> anybody that's running Linux has to be a hacker, right? You have to be one of these people that you're you're trying to take over the moon, hold the moon hostage <laughs> for ransom, kind of like in the Austin Powers movies or something. If you guys don't remember this website years and years ago called adequacy.org, it was a satirical website and they had an interesting page on the website, Is Your Son a Computer Hacker? And it's got a lot of points to it. Some of these are pretty funny. Like, has your child asked for new hardware? Like, if he needs new hardware for his computer, he's probably hacking. You know, is he reading hacking manuals? Does your son use Quake? Because if he spends a lot of time online, you know, in virtual reality, like games, he must be a hacker. And my favorite is, is your son obsessed with Linux? Now, that is misspelled Linux on purpose. There was actually an operating system called Lunix years ago, but hardly anybody used it. Most people don't know about it. They're trying to be funny here with Lunix. But basically, if you were using BSD or Linux, and they mentioned that Lunix was invented by a Soviet computer hacker named Lenyos Torovaltos before the Russians lost the Cold War. Again, it's a satirical site, but you know, this kind of stuff I mean, a lot of people really think that or thought that then, think that now. If you're using stuff like Linux, you have to be a hacker. If you're running C Matrix on your laptop, you, know, you, you have to be a hardcore hacker. So, because this is blew up on Twitter, it became kind of a big deal. The UK police kind of denied responsibility for it, saying, yeah, we know that virtual machines can be used for legitimate reasons and that Discord is, you know, not that bad. In a lot of ways, I think 
when government agencies or police agencies do something like put something like that this out there, it is in some ways good for us because it highlights for one thing, it highlights some really great projects out there, some free and open source projects, especially like Tor and Kali Linux. Now, p- proprietary garbage like Discord is also on the list. I don't care about that. But I guarantee you, people would see this poster and go, Tor, what's that? I'm going to download that and check it out. If you want kids to try something, tell them not to use it, right? <laughs> I guarantee you, they're all downloading ISOs for Kali Linux right now. In fact, one of the Kali Linux devs <laughs> tweeted this right after it. He's, quote, have to admit, it's sort of nice they give kids a roadmap on where to get started. We all know the easiest way to get a kid to do something is tell them they can't or should not. And then they list specific items not to do. Too bad they did not link it to Kali.training. So Kali Linux is, you know, any press is good press, I guess. The UK police, again, they're denying that they... That this was something they officially did. They said, quote, the poster was produced by a third party, was created as an aid memoir to assist teachers with safeguarding schools. And, you know, they're apparently concerned about cyber attacks and things like that. <laughs> Again, this is very, very Orwellian like, you know, the fact that, you know, they're monitoring the software you use and they want you to report your kids if you see them using this software Uh, guys, if you're not donating to organizations like the EFF and the FSF, (laughs) I've mentioned this a few times, please donate. I'm going to link to both those organizations, the Electronic Frontier Foundation and the Free Software Foundation in the show notes. Please donate. Give what you can. This show was made possible by Chris, DJ Donnie, Dylan, George, Haplo, Nate, Lambda, Michael, Mitchell, Omri, Rob, Sean, and Willie. These guys, they're the producers of the show. Without these guys... This show wouldn't be possible. And you see all those other names on the screen as well. I want to thank each and every one of those ladies and gentlemen. If you'd like to support the channel, please consider doing so. You'll find me at DistroTube over on Patreon. All right, guys. Peace.